What's going on everybody? Motown EDC here, back again with another video. And today I'm just gonna be showing off a handful of new things that I got that I haven't been able to carry uh, up until now, because I've been doing that doggone challenge. Um, go check him out, awesome dude. Had a really cool challenge. Uh, everybody, he invited everybody to do. That's everybody. So I did that last week. As y'all probably already know, if you've been keeping up with me, but I carried the uh, Hemlock saw cut bone uh, GEC 86, the blade forms one. That thing was freaking awesome. But after carrying it for a week, you know us knife guys. We get new stuff in the mail and we just can't help but carry it. So I was ready to carry something different. Not that I didn't like the knife, I just, I just wanted, I, got, I was excited. See, I'm getting, getting caught up on my words now, but I was excited to carry something new. I got two new knives in that I hadn't been able to carry. Still have one I haven't carried yet. Um, but I've got two new ones in the pocket with some new leather. So we're gonna take a look at those. Um, I did get a new wallet from Failsafe Goods, Ryan, uh, Ryan over there, he does a great job. Um, he had some of my favorite leather, so. We decided to get me a a new wallet on the way. Um, I think it's a Wicket and Craig uh, Buck Brown leather. I used to have a, a Open Seas gun deck in that. That was back before he changed his name to Open Seas. It was Das Open Amir uh, when he first started out. And I had the gun deck in this leather. And I absolutely love it. It catches a crazy patina. Um, but this wallet that I got is called the uh, Failsafe Goods Flapjack Billfold. I don't know if the light is very good right here. I know the sun's like half in, half out. It's doing a hokey pokey over here. Um, but it's like a modern take on a billfold. But look how beautiful that leather is. I don't even know if it's a modern take on a billfold. It's just a very innovative design and I freaking love it. I have taken all my cards out here so I can show you the inside of it. Crazy good stitching on this. Beautiful leather. But it's got four card pockets. You can fit probably like two in each pocket. Maybe, th maybe three if you squeeze it in there hard enough. So no, not, no crazy tuners just yet, but I have only been carrying it for a few days. Um, but I really do, with wallets, I like to be able to just grab cash out of it and not really have to like jam it in anywhere. And I saw this one and how it had this big old flat back here for cash and bills and stuff like that. So that's what drew me to this one. Um, not too big. I think it's really the perfect size for me. I'm a larger human being. Um, but it's been perfect for me so far. And I can't wait to see how this thing patinas. Just look at the, the edge on this thing. He does an amazing job. i get my face out here so you can focus on that. That is daggum gorgeous. He does a great job. Go over to Failsafe Goods and get you something. He's got a lot of stuff. He just did a drop of uh, like a smash and grab. It's just like a bunch of uh, random colors of um, leathers and stuff. Go get you one. You won't be disappointed unless you're a loser. I'm just kidding. <coughs> Excuse me. You're not a loser. Y'all are losers out there. Um, but you'll be very impressed with his work. It's great stuff. Uh, next up, got some more leather. Yeah, I'll show you the slip first, and then I'll show you the what's inside of it. But seeing this stamp on here, you already know who who it's from. But this is a sanctified leather, sanctified leather work or um, sanctified EDC and gear slip. He gifted this to me, and I am stinking impressed with this craftsmanship this early on. I mean, look at the stitching on this. It's crazy. 
I don't know if the light is very good in here to catch the or to do this justice, but the die job is impeccable. The edges on there, flawless. This this is just top tier. Leather work. I can't I can't wait to see where where he goes with his work because I know he's he's gonna he's gonna make great products and he, I believe that he will be very successful. I do believe that with everything in my being. I mean, if he's just starting out and making stuff like this, he's going places. So I am very thankful to have this in my pocket in my leather collection and all that. Thank you for this gift. I'll cherish it. This is going to be my dedicated Sunday knife. But in there, this is going to be a one of one. You won't see one like it unless somebody up and makes one and copies me. I mean, I'm just kidding. You can do whatever you want with your stuff if you like it. Make another one. But this one is a Sodbuster Jr., but it's not your typical Sodbuster Jr. This one is recovered by Box Creek Knives. But as you can see, this ain't no regular Sodbuster Jr. This is a, it's got a spear point blade. And that's right. So this one started its life as a, a chestnut bone Sodbuster Jr. with the CV blade. I don't uh, see the CV right there. Got the CV blade in it. This thing is tight as a toyga. This thing's tight. Great action. Got the half stop put in there too. But it started his life as a chestnut bone saw Buster Jr. with the CV blade. And then I got it for really cheap because Heavy Set Slim, he had modified it to a spear point and he was selling it really cheap. So I took him up on it, got it. And I broke the handles immediately. I didn't even get to use it yet. I dropped on a hardwood floor and it broke the bone. And it's just been sitting in a drawer ever since then. I do have a pretty dang sticky sharp. It's nice and toothy. It'll bite you if you let it. Don't let it bite you. Um, but I sent it out to Box Creek. And he threw this together for me. Got the stag handle or covers. Even threw on a little leather lanyard with a stag bead on it. And I'm very impressed with how this turned out. This thing is stunning. I like how strong the half stop is. I just love the shape of it. It gives it a little bit extra handle with the tube and everything. Um, I mean, this, the blade is a little bit shorter than it normally would be. So he might not have even had to add any extra length and just put the tube in there but this thing I don't know I don't know how you pronounce it but it skagel it kind of gives me those sort of vibes but I really like it this is going to be a user that's what I intended for it to be whenever I initially got it and now it just looks a whole heck of a lot cooler so I'm gonna use the crap out of this thing y'all be seeing a whole lot more of it but this combo right here is going to be my dedicated Sunday carry and it kind of works out Saudi Sunday but I am going to be calling this one this one's going to be called the Box Creek Mod Buster so anytime I post it you'll hear me say Mod Buster that's the Mod Buster but that fits in here beautifully it has a lanyard uh, sticking out here so you can just yank it on out but it this, I believe this is the small slip size from Sanctified Leather Work, and that fits the Sodbuster Jr. perfectly. It's a great fit, and I think these two just go very well together. And last but not least, I told you before I was losing interest in uh, modern folders, and that ruffled some feathers, but that's okay. It is what it is. Uh, I still am not very interested in modern folders. I do like my slip joints and fixed blades and everything. Um, but I did mention that there were a handful of moderns that I was still interested in. 
and I had the opportunity to actually get my hands on one. So you're gonna see it in the thumbnail. You probably already seen it on my Instagram story. Um, but I have the Spider Coast Shaman in 15V. I don't know if you're able to see that, but this is the Spider Coast Shaman in 15V. The lighting sucks out here because it keeps going from being really sunny to not being sunny and then back and forth. But this doesn't do it justice, but this thing is pretty dang sweet. I have been using it all day today so far and I have zero complaints. I used to have a regular S30P Shaman and then I traded it back in the day like a dummy. I, well, I traded it for a 940, which is probably not the best trade uh, if you look at it money wise, but uh, that's neither here nor there. I have a 940 and a shaman now, so that's fine. But this is the uh, shaman that I was wanting to get after, and thanks to Doggone John, I've got it. So, thank you, Doggone John. I got one bad knife in my collection. It's probably going to stay there forever. I think I'm just going to keep flipping this thing until the blade falls off, but hopefully it won't happen. It's got some good. But let me tell you, this thing is a beast. A monster. Feels really good in my hand. Choked up and regular grip. But I know you can get some new scales and stuff for these. But I really like this brown. I mean, for a work knife, you don't really care about that that much. How it looks and stuff. But this will hide like dirt and everything very well. I do like the contouring of the handles and everything. But buttery smooth. Crazy action. Just drop shutty. Sweet knife. I really wish Spyderco would make a, a Native 5 with a uh, compression lock. But I feel like their argument there would be just... I don't know. It'd, be, it'd compete too much with the um, pair of 3, I believe. That's probably why they haven't done it yet, but hopefully they might they might catch on. They might make a native with a compression lock. I think that'd be pretty dang cool. Um, I'd definitely get one, especially if it was in K390 or 15V or Crew Wear or uh, Rex 45, something like that. Or even their S30B. Heck, I'd get one, but that'd be pretty dang cool. I have a bunch of ideas in my head. I just don't use words very, very well. I don't know, it's that southern in me, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's all I've got for y'all today. Go lose, use your knives. Don't lose them. I almost said go lose your knives. Go use your knives. Learn how to sharpen them. Go meet some cool people. Stay humble. Be a good person. Have a nice day. Mmm. Go hang out with your dog and watch some Motown. Go watch some Richter's Knives and Doggone John, Sanctified, EDC and Gear. Uh, Erica's EDC. Go watch all those cool people. Um, as always, guys, y'all come back and see me. Till next time.